Troy, uh, your recruiting class, there's not a lot of you guys left. What, what's kind of that bond like that you guys have going through everything you've gone through? I mean, like you said, there's not a lot of us left. So, I mean, we've been through a lot. Uh, we've seen a lot of different staffs, a lot of different, a lot of different ways of life to, to live. But, I mean, we're, we're definitely a tight class. I mean, everybody knows everybody first and last. I think everybody knows everybody's parents as well. So, I mean, it's a very tight class. We're very tight knit. And uh, we all re love each other and respect each other. What's it been like for you and Justin and everyone to, to enjoy this success that you're having in this nine-game winning streak? Man, it's been super surreal, but um, we just got to keep doing what we've been doing to, to keep that pace up. Uh, can't get lax days quick because you know how the Pac-12 works. You can come in any week and just get slapped in the face and, and your whole dreams is just crushed. So, I mean, we've been through a lot. We've seen a lot and we know that's what happens. So we just got to keep our, uh, our nose to the grindstone and just keep pushing, keep fighting and uh, just keep going with the, with the process that we've been doing. At this point in the year with some of these freshmen, I mean, the season maybe is a little longer, a little tougher than anything they had when they were at the high school level. I mean, how do you guys as older guys kind of keep them energy, you know, the energy levels up and that sort of thing as they get late in the year here? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think winning does a, a good job of keeping the energy up, keeping guys, keeping guys going. Because, I mean, I look back to my freshman year to now, it's just like it's two different teams. I mean, guys want to show up to the building in the morning. Guys want to go to practice. Guys want to put in the work. Guys want to put in the time. Opposed to my freshman year when we were losing on that seven-game losing streak it was just like damn why we got to come back like damn why are we here it's too damn cold it's it's this it's that it's the third but I think this 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 young class has done a great job of just understanding what we've been through and they they've taken what the seniors and the juniors and everybody ahead of them have passed down and just really listened to it and taken the advice and really ran with it and I think all all the true freshmen and redshirt freshmen have done a great job of, uh, of learning and, and absorbing and being good sponges. Speaking of freshmen, how's Kayvon kind of changed from the first three, four games from the last six? And he's got five and a half sacks in the in the last six. How has the game sort of come to him a little bit better? I mean, that, that's a question you have to ask for him. I mean, I'm not inside Kayvon's head, so I can't really understand what he's thinking, what, what goes through his mind on the field. But, I mean, just watching him on the, on the field, he just seems more comfortable and more more um, trustworthy in the guys next to him. And he's more trusting in himself. I mean, that, that's the biggest part is being able to trust yourself to go out there and do what you have to do. And I think when you first get out there, it's definitely it's a different way of life. It's not high school football anymore, so you have to get acclimated and adjusted. And I think he's done a really good job. I mean, all the freshmen have done a good job. But, I mean, like you said, his five and a half sacks have been – really key for the defense, and I think he's done an awesome job for us. Joe, how do you think you guys did in containing J.J., where obviously he was productive, but he didn't, didn't score, yeah. so that's ultimately what matters. But how do you feel you guys did with that and with Eno coming up, where they're different players, but yeah. he's also used in the passing yeah. game? How do you think go from one to the other? You know, I mean, like you said, I mean, they're, they're two fantastic backs. I mean, I think we're going to play like the, the next three or four games are some of the best backs in the Pac-12 that we'll face. Um, we, we did our best against J.J. I mean, we try to corral him and do what you can do because he's going to get his. I mean, he's just one of those type of backs that's going to get what he got to get. And uh, Benjamin's the same way. He's, he's going to get what he's going to get. So we just got to try to contain him and keep him bottled up. Um, but, I mean, he is a fantastic back. He has a great offensive line, great pieces, counter pieces at receiver and at quarterback. So he's not just doing it all by himself like J.J. was. So, I mean, I think he, he's a great asset to their team, and Benjamin is. So, I mean, we have to go out there and just play our defensive game and play what we need to do inside of the scheme and, and hopefully come out with a victory. Coach Chris Paul has talked a lot about it, you know, acknowledging the noise and everything that's kind of come up in the, in the last few weeks around the playoff. I mean, what's that like for you guys? The, you know, the ranking show happens, and then there's your head coach right there, you know, a half hour later talking with, with all of the guys up front. I mean, does it feel like that's kind of a, an effort to get you guys out there a little bit more? How, how is it interpreted with you guys as players? I mean, we don't really, we don't really pay much mind to that. I mean, I, I haven't seen any of his in the interviews or posts, any of that. I got, I got stuff to do outside of football as well. I mean, I'm not just sitting at home watching ESPN, just waiting for him to get on TV. So, I mean, I, I do my own thing too. But, I mean, we're just super excited and super blessed for the, for the position that we're in. And we understand that a lot of hard work still has to be done and a lot of things that have to be done still to get to where we want to go. But, I mean, we're, we're super blessed and we acknowledge the fact that we're at where we're at. But you got to put it to the side and just keep moving on because if you sit there and dwell on it, you're going to get hit in the face and it's not going to work out the way you want to work out. You watching a lot of Disney Plus like Carl? Nah, man, uh, I watched a little bit of Disney Plus. My girlfriend would be on the Disney Plus thing, but you know, I, I like to just watch like Bob's Burgers or something, you know, just have a good little laugh. Or we watch the Hell's Kitchen a lot lately. That's been, that's been my, that's been my go-to. If you see my tweets lately, Hell's Kitchen's been my go-to show, man. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay is my man. He be snapping on them fools. It'd be funny. It'd be funny for real. No, but I just, I just enjoy um, just having fun with the senior season and coming back and having fun with the boys. How would you characterize your friendship with Justin? Obviously you've, 
been through everything yeah. together and he leads that side of the ball, you kind of lead the other side of the ball, different personalities, what's it, what's it been like? Yeah, I'd definitely say our, our relationship is, is not what most people think it is. I mean, Justin's a very funny dude off the field. I mean, he's very open, but you have to get to know Justin. He's not just going to be open for you. So I think uh, over the past four years, we've built a really good relationship and I know I can go to him for about anything and I know he can come to me about anything. Um, we, we might not always hang out together, but we know we can depend on each other whenever we need each other. And uh, I think that's the biggest key is just be able to have that trust and that faith in one another and, and be able to, to crack jokes when you want to crack jokes and be able to have fun when you want to have fun. And I know that he, he loves me and I love him. What was the low point for you guys? Was it that 4 and 8 season or was it when Willie left? And when did you kind of see the light that you could finish on this note? I mean, I knew we could finish on this note when I first stepped on campus here. I mean, my first day on campus was the Alamo Boat loss, January 2nd, 2016. So I, I've seen a lot of different things go bad here. So, I mean, there's always, you, you never look for the downside. You always look for the upside. So I've always known we can get to this point. But we got to keep going because if you if you get comfortable and get uh, lackadaisical, you can go back to four and eight. Because that's what happened. We just got comfortable with winning in Oregon. We got comfortable being in Oregon. And, and guys weren't living up to the expectations that the other guys had, had set before us. And I think we're doing a a good job of reestablishing that and re-putting down the foundation and hopefully the young guys can pick up and run with it after we leave. So you went with blue this time, huh? Yeah, yeah, solid blue, you know what I'm saying? It'll be changed by, what's today, Wednesday, so tomorrow it'll be changed. Um, I don't know what color yet, uh, who knows? The club will probably be white because it's an away game, so just giving people a heads up to, to try to match my club. If you want to match my club, go for it. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be hard to do because, you know, my swag is impeccable, but, you know, it is what it is, man. The club, though, how, what's the word? Is like, does that impact your day to day life more than people would think? Or no, I mean, I, I've, I've really grown to use my left hand a lot more than most people would. I mean, my writing's still a little bit sloppy, but it is what it is. My writing wasn't perfect in the first place, so I, I'm not really upset with it. I'm just happy to have one of my hands working, and I still got four fingers that work, so can't be upset with life. <laughs> Thanks, Troy. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, Troy. Thanks, Troy.